We're Megan and Anna, a multicultural couple who live in New Zealand but love to travel to new places. We are currently about to travel to the beautiful South America for four weeks, where we get to explore some of the most magical places, including Argentina, Chile and Brazil. We can't wait to show you this truly beautiful place, from food to culture and landscapes. On that note, let's go to South America. another beautiful day here in Sao Paulo. Now we're doing something extremely, extremely cool today. Now Sao Paulo has around like 12.2 million people inside the city and it actually sits a little bit inland so lots of people don't think that Sao Paulo has beaches around. However, today we are actually going to a beach called Bertioga. Now this is around a two hour drive from Sao Paulo. I am so excited because I've been to Rio de Janeiro and I've seen Copacabana and the chaos that is there but it's absolutely beautiful so I'm excited to see something a little bit different and to also see a beach close to Sao Paulo as well. On that note guys we're gonna hit the road, We've got two hours to get there and I'll see you there. Yoga. That city is so amazing and bring me back so much memories because I used to be here since I was a kid. I have so much to show you but from now we need to keep going because I'm taking Megan to a very special place called Praia Branca. For that we need to take a boat, a little bit of walk and then get there but because of all that you can imagine there's a very special place that not everyone can go so it's very Beautiful and natural, so not many of us has been there. Let's see what you're gonna think. Uh huh, I'm ready. So, to get into the Prainha, you need to get this boat. If you come walking, people are free, but the cars have to pay something less than 10 reais to get with the boat. And over there, it's just five minutes to get into the beach.
just made our way through the entrance of Praeña Branca. Now the English translation is Praeña means like little beach and then Branca means white. So it should be a little cute beach with lots of white sand. But the walk itself should take about 30 minutes. Some nice stairs to walk up, but already you can see the views around, they look beautiful. the neighbor and keep it clean guys that's very important because over here it's really hard to come like any cleaning service or anything like that so please bring your bag and bring all the rubbish with you So we just came down the other side of the mountain. Now I actually think that was a very, very easy walk. Like it wasn't bad at all. I can feel the sand starting to come close to my feet. I can hear the sea. I am very excited to see this. when you get into close to the beach is that they have their nice extra around so there's restaurants there's hostels there's camping there's hotels there's bars so because it's a little bit further from town you don't need to worry you can have lunch you can have dinner you can even pay to have a shower to be fair so <laughs> just come with yourself and enjoy it it kind of reminds me of like what we call like a happy town. Yeah. It's like really cool, everyone's really chilled, really nice, like it's just really friendly and a really, really cool vibe straight off the bat. Real quick, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps us more than you think. Also, don't be shy to leave us a comment as we always love hearing from you. Don't forget to check out some of our other videos too, including our first time in Brazil's mega city, São Paulo, and what to do in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Now, back to the video. Maravilloso, <laughs> marvelous, like first impressions, holy moly, like I have been to some beautiful beaches and stuff and nobody talks about the beaches from São Paulo, like walking down here I'm absolutely like it's just killer gal, like so so nice. I just want to say I don't take anything out from Rio, they are amazing, but the reason people don't come to São Paulo for that type of tourist is because you guys don't know a local. Uh. Come with someone that lives in here or ask me <laughs> and I'll show you amazing places. It's gonna show that Sao Paulo is not just the city center, you know? It we is can do so good nice. beaches too, guys. Uh-huh, so, so nice. of different sides of the beach that you can explore around here the beach itself is actually super super big um, and there's like this little kind of island and now you need to come here like walking across when the tide is actually out and so for us today it's in the morning we managed to get across here that you can walk around and kind of explore but it's actually so big and beautiful you can honestly just like walk around and just enjoy everything I'm just oh it's around like 28 degrees right now we say muito calor means very very hot and Eu amo Brazil, I love Brazil, guys. Now 
Now, if you ask me, Anna, I'm not going to be there with you and I don't know how to get there. Is it possible? Yes, it's super possible. From Sao Paulo, you can get a bus from the bus station Tietê. Come to Bertioga and on the city centre, you're just going to get the boat and do the walk like we did. It's super easy as well. Probably you need to know a little words in Portuguese, but you know, Megan is doing fine. I'm sure you can too as well. So please, once you come to Sao Paulo, take a day or two and come to a beach to understand that we're not just that big city centre. Now I'm about to order a drink that I miss so much from home. It's called Espanola. It's a drink with wine, condensed milk and pineapple. Man, I can't describe to you how good that one is. Because you get the alcohol but it's really sweet with the um, condensed milk and the pineapple just come to not make you like feel too sweet. I don't know how to explain guys, but it's just amazing. When you come to Brazil, Espanola means Spanish girl. really 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 different about like Brazilian beaches is they have like all of these little huts and tables everywhere and so when you go onto the beach it's not like New Zealand where it's like absolutely nothing and they have all of these little houses where you can buy drinks you can get food you can get your um, ahoy shifazom your beans your rice and everything it is so good you can literally have everything you need here on the beach I just love it that's one of the biggest differences and honestly I wouldn't change if I could go Brazilian beach I would so we've just finished to have our lunch and lots of cervejas. We say muita cervejas, this means a lot of beersies on the beach. And the tide's come up so far now that we need to take the back road. So we're gonna make our way to a different part of the beach. Probably gonna go for a swim and have some more soul, which is sun. But guys, it still amazes me that Sao Paulo has these beautiful beaches. This day is just so nice, so chilled out, good vibes. We say playa vibes means like good beach vibes just so good. Guys, look at the tide. We got the back road, but it's still over here. We are going to have to go into the water. There is no way out. now on my face but good very good just very rough very rough Alrighty guys, 
guys, that is the end of our day in Prainga Branca. Now this is one of the coolest beaches in São Paulo. I definitely recommend coming here. If you are here, make sure you plan your trip. It's about two hours from São Paulo. We have had the best day here. But as always guys, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!